Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arbis Cafe, and Sherry is with me today and helping me today. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Sherry. And she's helping me talking about clasp. So why clasp? This is something that everyone uses, right? Right. It holds it all together. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know. But clasps are getting fancier and fancier. Yeah. It's not just a, a round toggle clasp. It's not just a lobster clasp. They have so many designs, so many finishes. So we thought, you know what? We should talk about them. Show some off. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and show how we use them too. So let's go first to some of that we choose here to show you the diversity of clasps that uh, we have. And um, they came from all shapes, mm -hmm. all colors. Um, I would say my favorites are the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so, those are so beautiful. beautiful, aren't they? I yeah. thought they would be great f as a necklace. And those type of clasps, you can have them in the front yeah. because they're so beautiful. That's where you want them. Yeah, yes. They're so stunning. I love this one too. That is beautiful. Um, how do you call already this type of uh, uh, cameo? Cameo. Uh -huh. cameo. This is like a rose gold cameo. Um, so a lot of them here are multi strand, which is really handy. Right. Because uh, now you see more and more multi strand uh, jewelry. And we have some uh, really pretty also um, magnetic clasps. Uh, this one is a magnetic clasp. Love that. Mm -hmm. So sparkle. This one too is really cute. Um, what is your favorite, Sherry, in all oh, of these? Well, I agree. I, I do think these big, um, sparkly, vintage-looking clasps are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But I was really drawn to this I, black um, cameo. I think it's so pretty. I love the gunmetal finish. Yes. And it's just a nice size. Um, so that one might be my favorite today. <laughs> Another one tomorrow. Another tomorrow for something new. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. Yes, one I, I want to show also is this panther one. This one here. I just love, love, love that. I think it's really, really, uh, it's it's unique. Isn't I love that design. His eyes and crystals yes. on his head, and yeah, he is beautiful. So and three strand. Three strand, yeah. and it would be like a focal point of your necklace. It mm -hmm. would be very pretty. He's beautiful. So let's us show you uh, what we made uh, with the clasp. And we're going to start here. Um, here, Sherry, you made that piece, a three strand. This is one right. of my favorite Isn't clasps. It, it is um, substantial. Yes. Um, it has a beautiful design. It Does. functions really well. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's such a nice finish, just a nice finish to any kind of um, piece. It is. And this is an iron hook here. Um, here, understand. So this is something. Again, you know, we're talking. Those clasps are so fancy; they can be in the front. So I thought this clasp, it would be too side to put in in the back. It has to be in the front. I think it was made for yes. it. And uh, I love those wings, and I thought it was really pretty. And uh, I uh, paired it with some uh, Swarovski and some uh, glass beads and a ribbon. I love that. I thought that was uh, really cute. And it unhooks at the yes. one end? Is yes. Is that right? Right here. Yeah. Okay. So um, remember, don't cut your ribbon because you are not putting a clasp. I almost cut yeah. my ribbon. <laughs> Thinking I need Yikes. to put a clasp and then I realize, oh no, the clasp is in the front. <laughs> so don't make that mistake. But those designs oh, are so very, neat. very pretty. And then you did something really cute here, Sherry. Right, so this doesn't seem like much of a clasp, but it is. It's right. a it's a little uh, sliding bead. It has mm -hmm. a little silicone um, disc inside, and it holds on to stringy material, leather, and cording really well. Right. I have one um, here on my wrist too with leather, and so it makes it's finishing something so easy. Yeah. Um, just putting the cord through from each side and mm -hmm. then putting a knot on each end and you're done. Oh. And it's adjustable, which is also yes. a, a bonus. So love That's that. Great. So yeah. easy. I did too. Um, here I have a beautiful clasp also uh, made of copper from Patricia Healy. This is a hot clasp. Um, again, I'm, I did something very simple with Kumihimo and I thought I want a focal point. I want something really mm -hmm. big. And it works really well with those end cap from Patricia Healy too. Beautiful class. Wow, Beautiful. Yes. Love her things. Another multi strand that I really like because it's simple. His shape is kind of a it's 
It's a little fancy because it's not just a, a rectangle, but it's also very simple, very sleek. Mm -hmm. And um, it's island hook. And this is a multi-strand uh, three uh, loop also. I thought that was really fun. Love it. What is this one, Sherry? Well, this one is really neat. This is, um, it is magnetic. Oh. So it comes um, and clasps together. You would never know. I mean, it just is seamless. Yes. But the um, magnets come out and the beads are strung through the clasp. Your cording goes through the clasp. Okay. And then you put the magnets in over the top so that you don't have... You, you know, typically you'd see maybe some knotting or crimping Fine. going on in between jump rings, but instead the pearls just go right into the clasp on this. So I think that's just a beautiful clasp. It is. And it's nice. It's this nice, strong magnet, mm -hmm. so it can handle some weight. Um, because pearls like this, they'll kind of add up, you know, any kind of beads right. this size can get a little heavy, um, but it's n beautiful. That's substantial a beautiful clasp. Beautiful finish. Yeah. It looks so professional Doesn't like it? that. Yeah. Really I love beautiful. that clasp. Yes. Um, another clasp that we don't see very often, but you have to use those magnetic clasps right. for a Wrigley's leather. Right. Yeah, these are these are great and just opens nice, mm -hmm. strong. It has this little bar here that fits in so it it um, keeps the magnet in place as well. Right. Um, so I, that's a great clasp. And you just use some super glue, right, <clears throat> mm -hmm. for that. Yes. Yeah. And here we have different clasp for um, bracelet. Uh, we wanted to show you that, um, like here on this uh, peony, you did something really cute with the tira cast. Right. So I, it's a fold over. So right. the the beadwork that you do goes through the end and folds over, and then you stitch it closed. Mm -hmm. And so I think again, a really seamless look. Yes. Um, I love using those bar mm -hmm. for bracelet. I use those quite a lot actually when I want to do a multi strand because it's easy yeah. and then they um they're very neat they're not fancy they just it's, and it's a st very strong uh clasp also they are and it brings the work all your beads up close. you don't have right. a big gap um between you know, end-to-end, end. Yeah. so I, I love that type of class. That's true. Here I use the same class that you used mm -hmm. in the first uh, necklace. Love, love, love this one. Uh, here, this is a um, class where you can match your beads. Um, this is for Miyuki uh, Delica, mm -hmm. and you just glue your beads in there. And um, to match this is, yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. really great because you don't feel like there is a clasp in there. And you use some toggle. Oh, I love this toggle. Mm -hmm. It comes in a variety of sizes and all different colors, and I use it all the time. So I just wanted to, to share that. Right. It's just a go-to favorite right. for um, just about everything. Very pretty, too. <laughs> yeah. And here's another bar that I use. So this is a uh, two holes. And again, like you say, it brings everything together. Mm -hmm. It's for multi-strand uh, bracelet. I think they, they're really great. Love yes. them. Um, in front of you, this white pearl, I use again that uh, wings um, clasp. And I wanted to do something very simple, but still with some pearls. So I use some uh, beadling chain with the pearls and then just another chain. Something mm. very simple, love very fast that. to do. Um, I love that too. I think it's very classic. It's classy too, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And then beside... This is, I wanted um, this um, necklace, mm -hmm. brown and turquoise. I wanted to show you, um, the clasp is very simple, but I felt like it was very important that the clasp have the earthy uh, tone, mm -hmm. like the necklace. And that's something that uh, we do a lot. We try to match the theme of the necklace with the clasp. Right, right. It's, I feel it completes the whole yeah, piece. It does. So this like Tiraka's hammer uh, toggle goes very well with Isn't the earthy gorgeous. stone. Gorgeous. Love that too, yes. Yeah. And then you did this cute bracelet. So this is another Tierra cast piece. And um, so it's meant for sliding um, and connecting uh, leather. So right. it has two, op well, three openings actually. One opening, this leather has been um, 
uh, riveted to it mm -hmm. and then the end just slides through like a buckle so again adjustable Good. and really fun to use you can do all kinds of fun things with this look meant to be worn in the front mm -hmm. um, and by adding the focal but it doesn't have to be but um, for wrap bracelets I think it's perfect for that okay. love it um, this one this is amazing clasp this is again but the bracelet is amazing oh, too. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this clasp mm -hmm. closes and so again your beads are just right up to it. There's not a lot of gap. Yes. And then it's just this lovely um it feels really good that it just closed like there that. There we go. I was pulling from the wrong direction. Lovely box clasp. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, you just so slide kind of the beads inside, right? Yeah, the beads just fit. Uh, it's just a tube with a groove, and your end row of beads slides in. Okay. And then you've got the little tabs on the ends that fold down um, and keep them all in place. Okay. So that's yeah, great. Beautiful, yes. Beautiful clasp. And oh, there's so many. Yes. Um, so this is where I I love the um, black cameo. And um, just love the, the gunmetal mm -hmm. and the black black. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was so pretty. So chose some black black um, jet crystal and then some gunmetal and, and mixed it up. And I, I love that. Now I want to do a necklace, I think, um, <laughs> you to should. go with that. Yeah. You should. I it's, love it's, that and I, and I bet that was super fast to make. It was super fast. Easy. So I used bead length chain. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I like to chop them up. <laughs> Not the fastest use for them, yes. but I just love them. Yes. And the links are already done for you. Mm -hmm. And so I cut them up and mix them in with the um, new links that I made with the crystals. So okay. I love that combo. It looks really great. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. Love it. And um, this is, I think, the prettiest little shell clasp. It has, so uh, it's a magnet. Mm -hmm. Very strong. <laughs> Very strong magnet, yeah, it's nice. And it, the finish, I think, is so pretty. Oops, on this clasp and paired it with the beautiful um, right. Swarovski pearls mm -hmm. and that little warmth from the gold, I think, is so pretty. So right. great clasp. Mm -hmm. And then this. That's very interesting. Isn't that neat? Yes. So, um, this is a clasp that has a perforated disc, um, and so it's it's just a plain disc, and it has little holes in it, like a, kind of like a tea strainer, <laughs> and um, and then you embellish it. You can seed mm -hmm. bead onto it. You can sew. You can make something you know quite elaborate. Finish it and then stitch it onto the disc if you want, That's or literally right. stitch into the disc, which is what I did in this case. Um, and then, which allows you then to match your um, mm -hmm. your clasp to your beads that you're going to use. Yes. So in this case, I've got the rose pearls and thought, oh, okay, let's do little, little <laughs> rose pearls and a little crystal. I thought would be so pretty. And then it's just a it's a lovely box clasp, so it right. has a nice catch and um, clasp, and it's pretty on the back mm -hmm. as well. So really fun. That. You can do a lot with that to um, make your pieces cohesive. Right. Yes, and the last piece, this is a necklace that I made and it's just a very cute flower toggle and I wanted to do something in the front. So just have fun with some chain um, and then some bead and, and pendant dangling and you yeah, can use like any that. toggle clasp like that. And it's, it's really Isn't fun. fun. And it's a fun toggle. Yes, really it is. Cute little flower. Gorgeous colors. Thank you. So fun. And what I like in all those new clasps is uh, suddenly they inspire you to oh, make definitely. a piece. It yeah. used to be, I make my piece first and I take care of the clasp after. <laughs> right, but right. now is you look at a clasp and you're like, oh, I want to create something <laughs> around <laughs> it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's, That's the way. special star. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So. Clasps are really fun. Um, don't forget them. It's it's a part of a finding that is really important in your necklace, in a piece of jewelry. And check on our website. We have so many uh, great design and, and fancy clasps. Yes, yeah. a lot, really a lot. There is never enough clasps, no. really. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
looks like the beads. <laughs> well, Sherry, thank you so much You're for joining welcome. us today. Thank you. That was really fun. I love my favorite is your uh, cameo with oh, the, the black. thank you. That yeah. is really pretty. Because that was the one where the class just said, use me. <laughs> Do something pretty with me. Yeah, I just love yes, that. Yes, that's true. Well, thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter and you can see all our ideas and great promotions. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye.